ดีค่ะ Welcome to Thailand today here on NBT World. Chiang Mai has faced several serious environmental problems, such as congestion, pollution, inadequate green spaces, that led to the haunting memory of the in undating catastrophe in 2010. So today we will meet with uh, Mr. Superwood Bun Mahatanagon. He's an architect for Society Imagine Mecca. So the so-called Society Imagine Mecca. So he will tell us about uh, revitalization of Mecca Canal, uh, which is one of the most important features in Chiang Mai's water system as a prelude to propose Chiang Mai as World Heritage City. Swadika. Well, welcome to Thailand Today program, sir. Thank you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> well, yes, very interesting because we, frankly, we hardly heard about Mecca <laughs> Canal ourselves. Yeah. So we are standing here, right here, at the beside of the on the bank of the of the Mecca. So tell us about yourself a little bit because uh, why? I mean, as an architect, are you born here? Yes, uh, yes. I was born in Chiang Mai. Uh huh. Yeah. So why don't you think of other canals? Why Mecca? <laughs> Yeah, when I was an architect student in the fourth year, yeah. uh, our teacher brought us here yes. to see the situation of uh, informal settlement yeah. along the Mecca Canal and uh. to see the environmental aspect. Mm -hmm. So at the time, mm -hmm. as a student, I think uh, mm -hmm. I can do anything mm -hmm. as I decide, but in reality, it's, uh, it's challenges. Mm -hmm. And I think when I was graduated, I, I think if I want to be an architect and planner, mm. this is a good, uh, a good side, a good side <laughs> <laughs> to learn and to practice, uh -huh. yes, to build a better city. Uh -huh. Actually, it's for, for my home. Uh -huh. So it's not just a canal that yeah. you wanted to revitalize, uh, yes. but the importance of it. So how is it? I mean, why is it so important, Mecca? Uh, in terms of the history, history please. this is yeah. not just a canal or the dirty canal. Mm -hmm. It's a, a, the main element mm -hmm. of the uh, history mm -hmm. evidence that mm -hmm. proved that uh, Chiang Mai city uh, 700 years ago mm -hmm. have a good technique to design, uh, to build mm -hmm. a city. Okay. At that time, the King Mang Rai chose the city to build because of one element is the Mecca Canal mm -hmm. to protect the flood, mm -hmm. to irrigate the water, mm -hmm. to the paddy fields. Mm -hmm. yeah. That shows. Yeah. That shows a house uh, housing yes. with waterway to uh, for the area for the agricultural. Yes. That is very yes. wise. Yes. Mm. So that means we are standing here beside this uh, bank, the bank on the bank of this Mecca. That shows that this was formerly the, the city. It's supposed to be the ancient city? Yes, yes. Oh. At the time, I think the human and nature are more mm. close in mm. terms of relation. Mm -hmm. But to see now, nowadays, mm -hmm. is just a channel to irrigate the dirty water out of the city. Yeah. This is the mindset today. Uh -huh. And how we can improve this mindset awareness through the design process to do work together with government, with NGO, with academic, with civil society. Mm. I think this is the key. But it's going to be a real hard work. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes. Because they are, <laughs> tell me about the, how, how much is suffered, this kind of... Uh, I th do you mean suffer? The suffering of, you know, ah. what, uh, polluted. Yeah, yeah. As we can feel and even smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the water's uh. quality is quite bad, uh -huh. actually. But it's not just only the water issue. But mm. I think uh, if you see the housing situation, the living condition of mm. the people mm -hmm. here along the canals, mm. most of them are the workers to support economic for but our work, for our city. Uh. I think uh, the main mm. thing is how how the people and the natural element as a canal and mm. and the archaeological mm -hmm. site can can live together. Mm -hmm. I think this is the more challenges. Mm -hmm. well, from here, we don't see much of the, of the, of the, what do you call, the history. Yeah. Because this is the housing already. Yes, it's high between the house. Yeah. So how possible it is, it's a little bit out of there. But once you are uh, revitalized, it, yeah. you know, it come life and, you know, it could be beauty. This is you expecting from the tourism to, uh, anything to do with that? Yeah, but I think in terms of economic, we need uh, tourists. 
to, to support this, but in terms of the living condition of the people. If we can design, plan and readjust a little bit, that improve the quality of life and open space to see, to appreciate. You have expanded up yes. to, to be yes. the flow, of proper flowing, yes. proper this thing. But uh, it has to use a lot of uh, investment into it. Yeah, in terms of budget we need. Budgeting. But the more than import, uh, more than the budget, we need a vision. Mm. The common vision can mm. drive mm. into the collect direction. Mm. Yeah. How many people think like you? I think it slowly just start. Uh, yeah, because I think from the situation today is a result from 30 years of mm -hmm. uh, development. Mm -hmm. I think at that time we think the canal as an engineering system to uh, to to solve the mm -hmm. the sewage system. Mm -hmm. But if you see the micro macro trend mm -hmm. of development mm -hmm. in every city, we need a green space, we need mm -hmm. an open space, we need mm -hmm. a public space. Mm -hmm. So and this is we have the potential to do. Mm. If we can achieve this, I think another issue to develop the Chiang Mai is easy. Mm. Tell me, Mr. Architect, where's your house? <laughs> My house is. Well, why did you think of this? I I don't know. I think I I feel that uh, Chiang Mai have Doi Su t a p right? Uh. And have a Ping River. Yes. And we have a city. Uh. The canal system is a linkage between mm. the mountain, city, mm. and river. Mm. It's a connection. Connection with that. Yeah, mm. it's a connection. Mm. So, so this means from branching or from the mapping. Yes, yes. Uh. And this is the 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 small stream from Doi Su t a p is mm. a part of this canal, mm. and this canal is become a little part of Chao Phraya River. Okay. Can you see the connection? Okay, so the mapping is like that, <laughs> yeah. and then come along with that little branch out to this mecca. Yes. And then this particular one is uh, Japaya. It's Japaya. Wow. So how many other like this uh, other uh, canal like this? Uh, Any other branching like this out? Yes, just, just only in only this one. Only this oh, one. that's why you so much concentrating yes. on this yes. because it's just one. Yeah, just one. Mm -hmm. Actually, one left behind. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about the people around here? How much they are so energetic? Yes, we can do it or what? You yeah. Know, they just do whatever you like. Uh, in the past, it like that. The part, uh, I think, the culture of working together is not happen. Mm. But from two or three years that we work closely with mm. community network, mm. they tie up together. Mm. They put an effort together mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. the bridge, they build it together. Mm. And they then they not left. Uh, this job for the government only. Mm -hmm. They show up. I think this is the, I think this is the power from the people mm -hmm. that do something and mm -hmm. later on we engage with the government to do together mm -hmm. to share the mm -hmm. same vision. Mm -hmm. For the future to come, when we say uh, this is uh, going to be big, uh, larger than normal, and uh, transportation can be. Yes. What, what is the plan? What yeah, this is the plan. Because uh, the Mecca Canal is run to the old town, the it's about 4.7 kilometers. Okay. It means if we can improve this, the bicycle, the walkable mm, walkway, walkway yeah. will be put in this. Okay. And when people walk, when the bicycle come, when tourists come, it means economic for the people. What is the population here? Uh, from our last survey, it's about uh, 6,000 household live along the Mecca Canal. Oh, that's quite huge. Yeah, that's it's quite, quite huge. w h i t e number. Yeah, quite and number. and um, you say that once we are here, uh, behind here, we can see the. It's supposed to be the what do you call ancient city. Yes, it's a uh, earthen wall. Oh, a, uh, so we could see some trace of that, right? Yeah, we can see so that. We can, we're going to see it later. So that's interesting. So um, when are they going to start all this? Uh, I think it's already start. Already oh, started. Yeah, last okay. month our okay. provincial government come to visit oh. with the mayor, with the all stakeholder from the government sector, archaeological oh. department, uh -huh. the treasury department. Uh -huh. Every sector come to sit here and really? to listen. Uh, the people plan and our to, plan to smell also and to so smell and to <laughs> experience the experience. The and vision is not come from yeah. the meeting room, okay, but come from the listen from the people. It's for the first time. I think this is the first time mm. for my generation. Uh, <laughs> I agree with that because this is uh, something to be for another hundred, two hundred years. 
from now. Yeah. You see, the prosperity, we, 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 we are not here, but the people after us yes. can benefit yes. it, like yes. we benefit it. Yes. But what um, ancient people and our great, great, great grandfather right. was doing right. that for, for, yes. for us, or even it's this shape, but yes. it can be done. So it's very interesting. So um, it's going to be, you have the plan or the project, I and mean, to see that, um, well, the picture, can the imagination of the, uh, the boat, yeah. Rowing, you know, get yes. back to origin. Is yes. there any ca such kind of thing of your plan? It's, it's like that. Like uh, we, I think last uh, two or three uh, years, we uh, ride a boat here oh. to experience. Oh, really? And we invite the children, invite the community leader huh? to buy into the network, oh. to see the canal perspective. Mm. Mm. When we see the from the road, we not see anything, mm -hmm. but. When we in the canal, we see the tree, we see the, the beautiful house, we mm. see the life of the people. Mm. I think this is the treasure, mm. a hidden treasure. A hidden treasure that uh, <laughs> you don't expect to see, but because you're going to be very proud of this because your generation and yeah. then you follow this. Yeah. All right, so we're going to come back for the second part later. Thank you. So we are coming back to the end of the first part of our interview, so please stay tuned for the next. Thailand today. So we are still with the uh, architecture who doing uh, this uh, canal. So, uh, well, actually, when, when we, I conduct program and I used to be very, what's it called, exciting to, to go things. But today's another version, <laughs> another version. Tell us about this place because, uh, well, we could see the people have been joining so well by having their own, uh, what do you call the, garbage uh, boat something? yeah yeah mm. yeah it's, if you see this is the boat that the people are uh, ride the boat together to collect the garbage. the garbage this is the power of the community people oh. who live along oh, yeah mm. to take care of their house really well yeah, to set up the house from the canal mm. and some start to paint the banana leaves, the banana leaves. Yes. it looks yeah. nice yeah. look at that and then and, and you know it go nicely with the well, well, community of our residents, yeah, yeah, yeah. beautifully. You nice. cannot imagine this is the in the middle of the town. Mm. Yeah, mm. but now you can imagine already because you call yourself as a what, <laughs> what a society imagine Mecca. Mecca. Yes. So uh, I like the name. Uh, who 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 is the brainchild of this? Uh, actually, we we copy the Imagine Chicago campaign. <laughs> <laughs> it's a campaign to uh, let the people to imagine our city. Uh -huh. Because some sometimes you see the problem, you not use creativity. Mm. But if you say uh, imagine, many possibility come. Uh -huh. So this uh, act, uh, so imagine that play a role in uh, raising public awareness. Yeah, and mm. create a platform to work together between mm. the government and people and uh, practitioner. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you tell them? If so you you use, I didn't see any cyber or anything to uh, to show them. I mean, to, to tell them that this is uh, this is the campaign uh, about uh, imagine Mecca. Yeah, yeah. Did, how did you? convey the message to them? Yeah, I think through the activities uh -huh. uh, and a meeting with the people. Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. like uh, for the, for example, mm. one act, uh, activity that we invite the children, uh, invite the community leaders okay. into the board. To the small board? Yeah, to the small uh -huh. board to survey, uh -huh. to appreciate and to point out the, the problem. Mm. Together to make a concern. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, not just a canal, but for their mm. living condition. Mm -hmm. So, any other activities that uh, do you have among them the, in promoting this? Yeah, and, and we organize a series workshop uh -huh. uh, with the civic society, mm -hmm. with the architect and planner, with the lecturer. 
to make a plan, a visionary plan to improve this. And we show to the government, we show to the mayor, we show to the provincial governor. It's going to be like a new city? Uh, not just a new, but uh, I think the new developments, but based on the root mm. of the people, root mm. of the history here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. So there's a lot of work, and uh, what's uh, the challenge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is the new culture that we try to work, mm -hmm. try to integrate everyone and mm -hmm. leave no one behind. Mm -hmm. Because of from the past development, I think it's quite segregated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But here we try to integrate. To see, to share the same vision, and to do some small things that are connected mm. together. And Mr. Kitek, talk about uh, segregate and all that because uh, you are trying to join it because this uh, particular area is uh, consists of people of different, little bit different culture, though they are Thai, but a different culture. So uh, they are uh, Thai hill, what do you call it? Thai hill, hill tribe, hill tribe, and uh, then the original Thai. Yeah. So they live in harmony and uh, yeah. they uh, both uh, culture uh, joining together. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I think the people here are quite important, but I think most of the people are not see their life. Mm -hmm. They are the service sector mm -hmm. to work for our city, to do, mm -hmm. to do the laundry, to be a mm -hmm. construction worker, mm -hmm. to sell the things, the souvenirs mm -hmm. in the market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, the living conditions, I think is some are not uh, in prop in proper. Mm -hmm. So how we develop the community, develop the living co uh, condition mm -hmm. and with the canal. Mm -hmm. How this um, um, revitalization of Mecca canal is related to the purpose of submit, uh, submitting mm -hmm. the uh, Chiang Mai as a world heritage? Yeah, I think the canal from the statement of uh, universal value mm -hmm. that we propose to UNESCO, mm -hmm. the canal is the one element. The mm -hmm. canal is the historic canal. Mm -hmm. It's a have a value. Mm -hmm. But if we do nothing, if we let it was and it is like this. Mm. I think UNESCO is not approved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This. I think they'll be confused because what, where exactly is written that this particular canal is a uh, ancient, it has a story telling, mm -hmm. is there anything written somewhere? Somehow? Yes, yes. I think this is, this is the canal system, show the knowledge system mm -hmm. of our generation and mm -hmm. our previous generation of the king, that how mm -hmm. they construct the city. Mm -hmm that connect the natural stream from the mountain into the canal system to make our city flourish, mm -hmm. make our city abundant and make, make our city uh, safe from the flooding. Mm -hmm. I think this is the wisdom mm -hmm. from the past. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, I think no one no, mm -hmm. no one understand this. Mm -hmm. No one understand, but, but uh, what I mean is, because a library, the national library or or a museum or something is written something so that because to convey it to, to convey the message to UNESCO, ah, okay. you must have a solid, exactly, exactly. solid evidence, yes, yeah. right? Yeah. The old script mentioned that the Mecca is the one of seven auspicious matter. It's written. Yeah, it's written. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's why our King Mang Rai built Chiang Mai City here mm -hmm. because they have the Mecca Canal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perhaps uh, the uh, uh, foreign audience may like to hear about a little bit of the uh, of Chiang Mai. Can you stress back a little bit? That, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. I think Chiang Mai nowadays is seven twenty three years old. Seven twenty three. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It used to be a, a kingdom called mm -hmm. uh, Lana Kingdom, mm -hmm. and Chiang Mai is a really at that time is very modernized mm -hmm. at that time, oh. na, a commercialized city. Uh -huh and have a culture of the mix of the people. Mm. And another important thing is Chiang Mai is the city, uh, to build the city with the nature, with the Doi Sute, with the Ping River, and with mm. the canal system. Mm. That's why the Mecca is not just a, a common canal, mm. but it's a historic canal that uh, connect the city and the mountain mm. and the river, the river together. Mm. And it has a lot of potential today to develop. Uh, mm. the, the, the canal into the greenery, mm. more beautiful mm. and the uh, condition mm. of living mm. of the people are improved. Mm. Because you, you can feel this is the village mm. in the urban we just area. To imagine, like you said, imagination <laughs> of that is a big, huge village. Yeah, yeah. this is the village. Uh, you yeah. can see from the plantation, yeah, yeah? because it's a huge uh, ages of our, uh, 
uh, trees. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you can see in the old time the people live like this. Mm. This is the evidence, mm. but how to improve, I think this is the subject of development. Mm. How about the, um, uh, you see the world, the city world, that we could see that, uh, we can lead you to see that city world. That's going to be something constructing like uh, with, uh, just like in, in Chiang Mai, what, what do you call it? Chiang Mai, inside, ah, you can see the inner wall. The inner wall. Yeah. So it's going to be like that? Uh, no, this is the earthen wall, ah. that when they dig a uh, canal, Oh. They got an, the earth uh, and to top up into the earthen wall. Oh. At that time, it's protected. But the that's flood. old. That, that is that, old. That's that old. is old. Mm. It's more than 200 years old. Mm. And I wish the uh, people really realize of uh, what's uh, going to have uh, to be their own profitable in the future. Yeah, exactly. Mm. If the development uh, happen here, I mm. think people is not just only get uh, living condition better, but in terms of economic. Mm -hmm. Let's say if uh, this road that we walk is mm -hmm. walkable, mm -hmm. it's nicely mm -hmm. the bicycle. And it's done by by government. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is done by the community, community with the government. Yeah, yes. mm -hmm. But in the future, if we can improve better than this, mm -hmm. the tourists will come. Mm -hmm. the, the 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 income of the people are increased and the awareness of the canal are increased. Mm -hmm. can, can we because this is supposed to be behind? of the city or what? Because when you talk about the main city, the main road, this is behind. Yeah, this is left behind because uh -huh. the earthen wall are, are, uh -huh. are obstruct and there oh. has no, no road connection here. Uh -huh. So that's why they improve the, mm -hmm. the road along the canal is create the uh -huh. a connection like a blood flow. Uh -huh. Here is, let's say this is the body of the people, uh, it's, sometimes it's blockage. Mm. The blood flow uh, mm. is not connected. That's mm. why our city are ill. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Looks ill, but yeah, it looks, looks ill. Ill. So We can imagine that because, uh, yeah, just a good example that you talk about. This is a kind of uh, you just uh, revitalize by by injection of some medicine into it. Yeah, and it acupuncture. Possible. Acupuncture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, better, better off than, than injection. Even. Yeah. So this is very interesting. So the people will be beginning here are the people around here. Community. How many? What is the population of the? Uh, it's about um, six thousand. Six thousand. It's mixture with the uh, uh, people who live in the hill. Mm -hmm. Are uh, many ethnic group here, mm -hmm. and the local Chiang Mai people live mm -hmm. here. I think 50 fifty percent. Mm -hmm. So they live in harmony, and they yeah. they know for sure that what's going to be done yeah. in the future to come. This is very interesting. And uh, are, are you, what is the cooperation? Once again, they use uh, cooperation between the what, governmental government, yeah. in a uh, private sector. Yeah, yeah. I think from last year that we work closely with the uh, uh -huh. with the municipality. Uh -huh. The municipality set the committee. Uh -huh. To work together, that okay. consists us. This consists the community leader. Uh -huh. I think this is the first time mm -hmm. that uh, we have a meeting mm -hmm. to set a common vision uh -huh. that is different from the 30 years ago. Uh -huh. okay. I think this is the good beginning. Yeah. Well, I really wish you all the best Thank for what you. you're undertaking because Thank such you. a heavy work and heavy heart anyway. <laughs> okay. We are ending up our program with great thanks to Mr. Superwood. Bunya Mahatanakon, he's an architect for a society, Imagine Mecca. Thank you for joining our program. We ate up our program and thanks for watching Thailand today. We do hope you enjoyed the show and looking forward to seeing you again. Swadika. So,